It's a beautiful day on Sombrero Beach in Marathon. I'm Gary McAdams with Barbara Anderson Realty, the Key West Life. When you live in the Florida Keys, you can spend your December days on the beach. That's certainly a lot better than shoveling snow up north. Sombrero Beach in Marathon is one of my favorite beaches in all of the Keys. The city of Marathon spent several million dollars renovating Sombrero Beach a few years back after Hurricane Irma came. Hurricane Irma unfortunately did a lot of damage to the Marathon area, but the city really stepped up. Marathon in general looks great these days, and Sombrero Beach does too. Just take a walk along the beach any given day, and you'll see the beautiful white sand. There is also seagrass running the whole length of the beach, and many palm trees if you want to sit in the shade. There's an entryway to the beach from the parking lot, bathroom or playgrounds about every hundred feet. You will also notice there's at least two trash cans right at the mouth of every entryway. Please use them and put away your trash. The Marathon Parks workers in the city of Marathon does a great job keeping this beach clean as you can see. Let's help them by doing our part too. Please pick up after yourself and use the trash cans they provide. Another one of the many great features of Sombrero Beach is the way it's geographically located. The beach looking out on the ocean faces southeast, which is the predominant breeze in the summertime. The location also gives a great sunrise view if you're an early riser. The sun is also up all morning long into the early afternoon, making it warmer in the wintertime. I know those of you who live up north don't think it ever gets cold in the Florida Keys, but for those of us who have lived here a number of years, we find it cold in the wintertime just like people do up north. Doesn't that water look refreshing? Jump in. As we approach up towards the entry and exit way of the beach, please notice the trash cans I mentioned earlier, and as I mentioned earlier, please use them when you go by. The only thing we want you to leave on the beach are your footprints, and the only thing we want you to take off the beach is some great memories. Another part of the renovation project of Sombrero Beach was where the city of Marathon added a children's playground. If the kids want to take a break from the sand and the water, they can come up here and enjoy the toys and the rides. The playground is completely fenced, separating it from both the street and the beach. They've also built quite a few covered pavilion-style seating where you can sit, get out of the sun, have your lunch. The Florida Keys sunshine is absolutely beautiful, but it's also very powerful if you're not used to it. I tell everyone, bring extra sunblock and then again bring extra sunblock. The sunblock that's advertised as being waterproof truly isn't waterproof. If you want to test that out, put some on your face and you'll notice an hour or so later your eyes are burning. That's your sweat washing it down your face. What do you think happens when you go in the ocean? It's also a good idea just to get out of the sun for a half hour or so a couple times a day just to give yourself a break. You'll also find large public bathrooms on Sombrero Beach that are very clean. A clean public bathroom is a rare find these days. But as you can see, they have them here, and they are just as clean inside as they are outside. The walkway going from the beach to the car and from the car to the beach is also very well maintained. Nice fresh cut grass. There are a lot of palm trees to beautify the walk and add some shade. You'll also see a couple more of the pavilions to sit in that are shaded if you want to take a break before you get in the hot car. I find Sombrero Beach to be just as nice if not nicer than the beaches at the state parks. We do have some great state parks in the Florida Keys with excellent beaches, but there you have to pay for them. Sombrero Beach is just as nice, and it's free. I come to the beach here as often as I can. I like it a lot. Back on the topic of things that are free, which is a word not used very often in the Florida Keys, Sombrero Beach also has plenty of free parking. I've been here on holidays, I've been here on weekends, I've been here in summer, I've been here in the winter, I've been here in the fall. I've come here in the heart of tourist season and never had a problem finding a parking space. Most places in the Florida Keys charge heavily for parking. Here you have free parking at a beautiful free beach. Be sure to take advantage of it. 
of course, it wouldn't be a complete YouTube video from a realtor in the Florida Keys if we don't discuss Florida Keys real estate. There are some absolutely beautiful homes surrounding the Sombrero Beach area. Let's take a ride and look at a few of them. Most of the homes here are a little bit larger than other areas in the Keys. The lots tend to be larger. They're all on the canal with your boat in the backyard. How much more could you want? The beach half a block away, a canal in your backyard, and the boat waiting to go. Many of the houses even have pools, making it the ultimate Florida Keys home. The houses this close to Sombrero Beach have a pretty good mixture of ownership. Some of them are year-round residents who live here. Others, it's a second home or a vacation snowbird home for them. A lot of the homes here have been bought strictly as vacation rental homes. A big advantage of owning a home in Marathon is almost all of the houses can be rented in seven-day intervals. The majority of Monroe County, which is all of the Florida Keys, is a 28-day minimum rental period by law. In Key West, it's a 30-day minimum rental period by law unless the property has a transient license. The transient license homes in Key West are pretty few and far between. And if you do find one, add anywhere from two to $500,000 onto the price you'll pay just for it. In Marathon, being able to rent for seven days will give you great return rental income on your investment. The houses here tend to be very secluded. They're on larger lots than most properties in Marathon. You'll notice a lot of them have large privacy walls or privacy bushes going the length of the property. That's mostly to keep the tourists and the looky-loos out that are down at the beach and then just feel like taking a ride. No real estate video would be complete without talking about price, so let's get to that. These houses surrounding the beach on the very, very low end will sell about a million eight, million nine, two million dollars. When you go up onto the higher end, they'll go up to about $3.5 million, $3.8 million. As a general rule in this neighborhood, if you want a house that doesn't need a ton of work, you can plan on spending probably $2.5 million to $2.7 million. If your intention is to use the house as a vacation rental income producing property, I definitely suggest getting one with a pool or one that has room to add a pool in. A pool and a boat dock are very big features with the vacation renters coming to the Florida Keys. There really are some amazing homes in this neighborhood. If you want to take a look at any of them, please give me a call, 305-731-0501. I'm Gary McAdams with Barbara Anderson Realty.